In this video, we're going to show how to migrate your existing site over to manage WordPress or manage WooCommerce. So I'm already logged in on the portal and default ends up being the performance tab, but we need to click on access to get the FTP information for being able to migrate. So I'm going to go to the uh, source site. So this is the site, live site that you've got that you want to migrate over to Nexus. So we're going to go add new and you'll need to search for Liquid Web. So I'm going to look for Liquid Web. And that's going to find the Liquid Web, migrate to Liquid Web plugin, which I've already got installed in this case, so I'm just going to activate. So after it's activated, it adds a new admin menu, WP Admin. So I'm going to be selecting FTPS. So I'm going to enter, this will be the email address that you need to enter for getting the notification. And also you'll get another blog vault notification when the site's finished migrating. And then we're going to get all of the other information from the portal. So this is the temp URL of the, you know, of the site install that we're going to be migrating to. Check the slash out. Green. So the path to make it easier, we're just going to be selecting public HTML and it already works out um, basically that part, the home slash where uh, your site would end up being in, uh, is installed into. So we're going to copy the host name there. So we're going to copy the host name in there. And then the FTP user will be the one that's already created for uh, the default one. So I'm going to copy that. And you can, if you're not sure what the password is, you can either view it or you can edit if you need to reset it and you can regenerate the password and then it will save it. So in this case, I'm just going to end up viewing the password. So I'm going to click view password and that is the password. So I'm going to copy that. And then we've got all the information. We've got the, uh, we've got the email address notification. Yeah, is the one you want to get out this the destination site URL which is the temp one the host server address uh, FTP username FTP password and also the directory path so we're going to click on migrate and this is a kickoff blog file and also you'll get an email notification with this link as well as um, there'll be a blog vault link so you don't have to keep this open um, this will just be, you'll get another one when it, when it completes, but you can see it's validating the information. Uh, just give it a moment, and then it will show the um, size of the site that it's migrating over. So you can see that's, that's the site size. It's 1.5 gig. Those are the amount of tables, and that's the migrating that source site to temp domain. And then after it's copied all of the files over, then it start, it show progression on the migration uh, bar there and the blog vault link. So the other one you want to do is when you finish, when the migration is completed, uh, you want to log in on the site. So this will be the site on the temp domain. And this one we're just going to show show the example on, on another migrated site. So there'll be two things you want to do. Be, um, if you have a Redis object cache enabled, there'll be a Nexus logo which shows and you can click on flush object cache. So that's going to clear all of the Redis object cache. And also you want to resave permalinks uh, just to make sure that none of the links are broken or anything on the site after you migrate it. So I've resaved, flushed the permalinks, and that now means that the, you've, the site's been migrated over and uh, you can test your site on the temp domain, make sure everything's okay before going live. But that should cover uh, how to migrate over your existing site using FTPS, um, either to manage WordPress or manage WooCommerce.